you think Rocket Lab is just another SpaceX wannabe, you're missing what's actually happening here. This company just pulled off one of the most consistent launches in the entire space industry, while quietly building a second business that most investors aren't pricing in at all. Today, we're going to be doing a real deep dive into Rocket Lab. Not a hype video, not a to the moon pitch. We're breaking down how Electron became one of the most reliable rockets on Earth, why Neutron is the real long-term bet, and how Rocket Lab quietly turned into a space systems and defense contractor, and why the stock is both exciting and risky at current prices. So be sure to make this the one Rocket Lab video that you actually finish. Rocket Lab started in 2006, not in Silicon Valley, but in New Zealand. Founder Peter Beck wasn't a billionaire or a defense insider. He was an engineer obsessed with one problem. How do you get small satellites into space reliably, on schedule, and without hitching a ride on someone else's rocket. Back then, small satellite companies had one option, and that was to wait. To wait for a ride share, wait for delays, or wait for bigger customers to go first. Rocket Lab saw that pain point and built Electron specifically to solve it. Electron is a small lift rocket designed to carry roughly 300 kilograms to low Earth orbit. That doesn't sound impressive until you understand why it matters. Electron is built almost entirely from carbon fiber composites. It's powered by Rutherford engines that are 3D printed and uses battery powered electric thermo pumps instead of traditional gas systems. And that last part is key. Electric turbo pumps simplify the engine, reduce failure points, and let Rocket Lab iterate faster than legacy aerospace companies. The result? By 2025, Rocket Lab completed 21 launches in a single year with zero failures. That's not normal in this industry. Electron didn't just launch commercial satellites, it flew NASA missions, hypersonic test flights for the US Department of Defense, and international payloads from Japan and Europe. At this point, Electron isn't experimental, it's proven, and reliability is the most valuable currency in the space industry. Here's where Rocket Lab quietly separated itself from its competitors. It didn't just stop at rockets. Rocket Lab also builds satellite buses, reaction wheels, solar panels, propulsion systems, and guidance and navigation hardware. And most importantly, Photon. Photon is Rocket Lab's satellite platform which flew NASA's capstone mission all the way to lunar orbit. That mission wasn't just a science win, it proved Rocket Lab could handle deep space operations and not just launches. This vertical integration matters because it turns Rocket Lab into a full service space company, not a one product business. In 2025, Rocket Lab made one of its most important moves ever. It acquired Geos, the company that builds advanced infrared and electro optical sensors used for missile tracking and surveillance. Shortly after that, Rocket Lab landed an $816 million contract with the US Space Department. Development Agency. That deal is to build satellites for detecting and tracking hypersonic missiles. Let that sink in. Rocket Lab is now designing the satellites, building the sensors, integrating the systems, and eventually launching them. That's defense grade, high margin, long term revenue for the company. This is no longer a startup side project anymore. It's now a national security supplier. And while Electron pays the bills, Neutron is the growth engine for the company. Neutron is Rocket Lab's upcoming medium lift reusable rocket designed to compete for larger constellation launches and military missions. It has methane-fueled engines, fully reusable first stage, and payload capacity of around 13,000 kilograms to orbit. But the most interesting feature, the fairing stays attached to the rocket. Instead of dropping the fairing halves into the ocean, Neutron opens, deploys the payload, and then closes back up for re-entry. It's cleaner, simpler, and it's designed for faster reusability. First launch is currently targeted for 2026. Six. If Neutron works, Rocket Lab moves into a completely different league. And if it slips or fails, expectations are going to reset fast. Rocket Lab's revenue has been growing fast, nearly 50% year over year recently. Margins are improving, backlog is over a billion dollars, and momentum on the stock is real. But here's the uncomfortable part. The stock is considered expensive. Valuation multiples assume continued execution, successful neutron deployment, and no major launch or contract failures. And Rocket Lab is still not consistently profitable. This is a company investors are buying for what it might become one day, not what it is today. So as a final take, Rocket Lab is one of the most impressive execution stories in modern aerospace. 
Electron works, defense contracts are real, and vertical integration is underrated. But Neutron will decide the next chapter for the company and the stock. This is a stock for investors who understand risk, believe in long-term space infrastructure, and can tolerate volatility. If this breakdown helped you understand Rocket Lab better, hit the like button, subscribe, and share this with someone who thinks space stocks are just hype. Also feel free to check out the free trading discord, you can find the link in my bio. This is not financial advice, always do your own research before investing.